Hello, my name is Josh Davis. I'm excited to be able to share this meditation with you today. Psalm 118, 22 through 26a says, the stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The Lord has done this and it is marvelous in our eyes. The Lord has done it this very day. Let us rejoice today and be glad. Lord, save us. Lord, grant us success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. What a juxtaposition we hear in this passage. On one side, deep rejection, yet hope and confidence on the other. Here we have a psalm of praise that jubilant worshipers would sing as they went into the temple during the Feast of Tabernacles. As we know, the Gospels draw from this psalm to richly proclaim Jesus as Messiah and as our cornerstone. But you've probably heard a great deal about the cornerstone metaphor. So I want to draw our attention to the word Hosanna itself. Hosanna in English, and what we saw in that passage, comes from the transliteration of the Greek word for Hosanna, which in turn is a transliteration of the Hebrew word for Hosanna. In each language, the word is practically the same. But we see the meaning has shifted. When we look in Psalm 118, verse 25, the word Hosanna has been translated, Lord, save us. It was a Hebrew plea. But as we turn to Matthew 21, as we look at Mark 11, as we turn to John 12, we see how the crowds at Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem are now using that same word to proclaim hope. We are saved. The message has shifted from save us to we are saved. The crowd's response is apropos. They should rejoice. They are saved. The Lord, in his perfect plan, knew that his son would be rejected only to be the stone upon which all of our hope is built. We can rejoice and be glad because we are saved by the one who was rejected, who was tortured and killed for us. We are saved. May we in this season pause, reflect, and then proclaim the Lord's salvation as we look forward to celebrating Jesus' birth. Thank you.